Hi, I'm Will Hewlett, football tech rep for Dick Sporting Goods, and I'm here today to talk about cleats. Looking back, picking out a pair of cleats meant it was the start of the season. It meant that I was that much closer to lacing up for game day. Here's three important tips to remember when selecting a cleat. First, let's talk about league and coach restrictions. You wanna make sure when selecting a cleat that your team doesn't have specific restrictions on spike length or style. Next, we're gonna check spike type, turf versus grass. In my experience, a molded cleat's a little bit better on artificial turf, but if you're gonna play on grass primarily, you may wanna look into a detachable cleat. And lastly, let's talk about picking a cleat based on your position. So as a wide receiver or defensive back, Typically, a low top cleat is gonna allow maximum ankle flexion so you can move fast. Now, if you're a lineman or a linebacker, more of a mid top or a high top cleat that supports your weight. And then finally, quarterbacks. You gotta pick a cleat based on your style of play. Do you like to run the ball more or you're more of a passing quarterback? I recommend the Nike Youth Vapor Strike for mid TD. I'm Will Hewlett. Check back here for more tips every Tuesday with Dick Sporting Goods.